Hey everyone, Vincent Nguyen here for Slash Gear and AndroidCommunity.com. This here is the new Nexus 7 by ASUS. This Nexus 7 has a 7 inch display featuring 1920 by 1200 HD. That gives it 323 pixels per inch or a total of 2.3 million pixels for the whole entire display. It's powered by a Snapdragon S4 Pro. It's running quad core and has two gigabyte of RAM on board for fast rendering of uh, 3D graphics, gaming, and things like that. On the front, there is a 1.2 megapixel camera. It has a fixed focus. Unlike the five megapixel camera on the back, and it has a, um, an autofocus, there are also dual speakers on either side, and it has virtual surround sound designed by Fraunhofer's, the same people that uh, basically invented MP3. Right up here on the right, there's a power button, volume rocker, a mic, micro USB for charging and syncing. There are absolutely zero physical buttons because Google has implemented these soft keys back, home, and for apps that are running currently. And speaking of apps, let's give it a quick walkthrough of Riptide 2. This is just an amazing game featured on the Nexus 7. The graphics is just outstanding. Okay, so let me give you a quick run through of this game. You can see the water just coming out of there. Oh, just missed my jump. You get the idea. It's really, really good. Okay, in terms of battery life, Google states that you should be able to get about nine hours of active usage. I I got about an one day and eight hours of standby time with roughly over six hours of active usage. That's over two and a half hours of watching uh, Netflix over streaming on Wi-Fi. And the rest is on surfing, listening to music, and whatnot. Um, it does come with a Qi integrated uh, charger. So basically any accessories that our Qi Enable will work with uh, the Nexus 7. So let's look at how it stacks up against the uh, previous model of the uh, Nexus 7, also made by ASUS. As you can see, the new model is, is a whole lot thinner. It's just slightly longer. Everything's in the same place, except for um, in the previous model, the headphone jack is placed at the bottom right. The back is textured while the, the Nexus 7 2013 model is a whole lot smoother. Better display, obviously. It's much lighter, weighing in at around 0.6 pound. Uh, overall, it is just a really nice device to use. Um, the bezel is, is roughly uh, half the, the, the thickness. So when you're holding it, it doesn't just it doesn't feel very big in the palm of your hand, as you can see here. And overall, it's just a much better experience than the previous model. Uh, this is a dual band Wi-Fi only device. Um, however, in the near future, Google will be releasing uh, one SKU uh, for all LTE 
uh, bands uh, internationally and stateside here. So um, make sure to check that out if you need a constant connection on your Nexus 7. Now, let me see if I can back up a little bit here to show you the new camera app on on uh, Android um, 4.3. You still get the same um, sphere panel video and still shots your diff different options that's basically it for the camera option I mean everything just works as it should be on a stock Android 4.3 See how great the browser looks here. This is our mobile version, bringing up the desktop version now. See how the text is just super crisp in landscape or portrait mode. Our Nexus review on Android community. I mean, everything is just super, super fast on this tablet. This is my daughter's favorite game. Farmer. All right, thanks for watching this walkthrough of the new Nexus 7. My name is Vincent Wynn for Slash Gear. Thanks again for watching.